always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out of the door Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashton. And I'm Jonathan, and together with our son Jack, we're the Black Forest family. So we started our blog about a year ago, and we were aimed at trying to help people who were interested in living, working, studying, and traveling abroad as a family. And this past summer, we decided to start vlogging our weekly adventures here on YouTube. And wow, what a crazy and wonderful experience it has been thus far. Actually, we've had so many questions about how we made it from the United States to Germany, how we met, fell in love, and like Jonathan said, how we became the Black Forest family. So I think it's probably best to start if we go back. Way back. So Ashton and I both come from the Midwest United States, which is basically dead in the middle of the country. I was born and raised in Kansas City, and to no one's surprise, spent a lot of my time riding bicycles. And I grew up in a small farming town in central Illinois. And while I didn't exactly grow up on a farm, you could pretty much say that my hometown was the quintessential small town USA. So fast forward to our time in college, Although Ashton and I went to the same university and spent our time riding bicycles and racing bicycles, we never met. Not even once. After I finished up my master's in mechanical engineering, I landed my dream job working for a cycling company designing bicycles. And my job has taken me all over the world. From short work trips to South Africa, Italy, Spain, Grand Canary, and China, to a three-month stint in Taiwan, I've been able to see the world and ride bicycles in some of the places I used to dream about. But in 2013, I was offered the opportunity to come to the Black Forest to work in our German office on a two-year contract. However, at the end of those two years, it became completely clear that I could not leave this place. So my story isn't really quite as extravagant as all the international travel that Jonathan's had the pleasure of doing. But after I finished up grad school, I got a teaching job at an interior design program in a small university in Missouri. So it was around this time from literally halfway across the world that Jonathan popped back into my life. You know, I wish there was a more romantic way to say this, but honestly, Facebook gets the credit for this one. Now, at this point in most dating stories, new couples will typically go on a couple of small dates, maybe dinner and a movie. Um, but when your new boyfriend lives 5,000 miles away, that's not really an option. So we thought about it, and if we're gonna have to fly to meet each other, why don't we do it somewhere exciting? So our third date was a week-long trip to Vieques, Puerto Rico. I mean, I guess it's a good way to test a new relationship. If you can stand each other after being trapped on a remote island for a week, then maybe things are looking pretty good. Man, I guess it went well because Ashton <laughs> came to visit me in Germany for six weeks that summer. Yeah, and we had an absolute blast road tripping across Europe. <laughs> and hiking and biking through the Black Forest. So I'll spare you from the lovey-dovey details, but we spent a lot of time in airplanes over the next year making time to see each other. And it became apparent that she was the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. So we had planned this big trip to Nicaragua during her spring break. So we spent the week sledding down active volcanoes, <laughs> swimming in the Pacific Ocean, exploring beautiful Central American cities, and even hiking 1,600 meters to the top of another active volcano. Oh yeah, and I asked her to marry me. But once we flew back to our regular lives in Germany and the United States, 
Next came the tough part. I had to figure out how I was going to make the biggest move of my life. I started taking German language courses and applying to different PhD programs in Germany. I thought that maybe this was finally the opportunity that I was going to go back to school and chase this dream that I had only just kept in the back of my mind for the past few years. So at the end of the next school year, I honestly ended everything. I quit my job, I sold my house, sold my car, sold all of my furniture, packed up all of my life into six suitcases, and grabbed my dog and boarded a plane for Germany. So let me stop you right there. This is probably going to be a video for another day, but thanks to traveling the world, I had airline status which meant over the course of two trips, I was able to bring about 200 kilograms of Ashton's luggage back or 440 pounds for free. Yeah, I mean, it still boggles my mind. I don't really know how we did it, but in the summer of 2018, I moved to Germany to start a life with Jonathan and begin my PhD. So when it came time to plan our wedding, you know, Ashton and I don't live typical lives. We didn't want to do something typical. We wanted to do something extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, honestly, everything in our relationship really sort of centered around this idea of adventure and travel. And we wanted to have a wedding where we were able to share that with our family back home. So literally on the beach in Nicaragua, Ashton and I started Googling unique wedding destinations. And we actually ended up stumbling upon this stunning image of a black chapel situated in a lava field on the rocky coastline in Iceland. And we were sold. This had to be the place that we were going to get married. So in March 2019, we flew our immediate family members to Reykjavik, Iceland, rented some four-wheel drive vehicles, and dragged them on ice-covered roads in a blizzard and drove to the remote town of Budir. And the wedding was everything we could have dreamed of and more. I know it sounds cliche. I used to think it was when I heard people say that their wedding day was the best day of their lives, but honestly, this was. And after one of the best dinners we've ever had, we were treated to a stunning display of the Northern Lights during a bonfire celebration. After the wedding wrapped up, we began our 10-day honeymoon driving the ring road in Iceland and then headed back to the Black Forest to begin our new married life together. Over the next few months, we spent our time working and traveling and enjoyed everything that living in Europe had to offer. That was at least until COVID. <laughs> We were on vacation in the Indian Ocean when the pandemic started going global. I distinctly remember being in the airport in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, trying to get back to Germany, watching planes full of mass passengers arriving from China. Yeah, and honestly, although it's become our new normal to see people on planes wearing masks, at the time, honestly, it was kind of scary. And we really had no idea just how big of an impact the pandemic was going to have on our everyday life, our community, and just travel in general. So like many in 2020, we started working from home. We couldn't go out to eat. There was no entertainment. There was no chance of travel. So we had a brilliant idea. Why don't we start a business and have a pandemic baby? So if I'm going to be honest, building a brand and a website from scratch took a long time. Neither of us have any kind of background in IT or web design. So 
Building the Black Forest family was honestly such a huge learning experience for us, but we knew that the kind of information and content that we were putting forward was the kind of stuff that we wish we had when we first started a life abroad. So after a lot of long weekends and long nights, after finishing our eight hour jobs, we launched the Black Forest family in August, 2020. And that was great timing because in November of 2020, Jack joined our little family. So we really enjoyed the process of sharing our experience and our advice with working, traveling, studying, and raising a family abroad. And as we've mentioned earlier, starting this YouTube channel has allowed us to engage with a much broader audience. We feel really lucky to call the Black Forest our home, and we look forward to sharing so many new adventures with you in the months and years to come. So if you're already a subscriber of our channel, we want to say thank you for following along and continuing to support us as we grow. And if you're new to our channel, we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about us. And if you'd like to get more content from the Black Forest family, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button. So until next time, bis bald. Cheers.